Hello and welcome to this weather update. It's around 1230 on March 21st, 2019. And uh, you can see uh, we have some showers over our area and mostly over the western part of, of the area and part of Nassau County. Um, for the most part though, East Suffolk County doesn't have much rain and there is a break heading our way. So it looks like the worst will hold off hopefully. Uh, let's take a look at a wider wider look at the radar here, and you can see here's the storm. Um, you can see, look at the form, again, you can see the shape of it now um, wrapped up is, and you can see the intense part of the storm that's going to be arriving later on today, probably more toward probably six, seven, eight o'clock for the evening. Uh, this is the more heavier part of the storm right here that is uh, approaching our area that will be again affecting us later. So let's take a look at the models and see, um, we'll first look at the GFS and then we'll um, look at some of the others. So here uh, comes the storm and you can see that the GFS is holding off also on the heaviest part until later, uh, probably after 7, 8 o'clock uh, and then the storm moves and it's going to affect us. We're going to have rain into tomorrow morning, tomorrow too, tomorrow morning and maybe even lingering into the afternoon over Suffolk County. This thing is is really a large large storm and its its effects are going to be felt over us uh, into even Saturday uh, we could have some precipitation very early Saturday morning before it finally moves away you'll also notice the tight isobars we're going to also have high winds I'm going to go over that too let's look at the NAM model well let's first let's see how much rain this thing is going to bring for us this is going to be a lot let's look at that you can see here it has us now it still is over an inch. Uh, some of the heaviest stuff over looks like southeastern Pennsylvania. Let's go look at the NAM model. And uh, the NAM model also has uh, most of the heaviest precipitation over the west and the, around the Appalachians. And, and uh, there they're going to get a well over two inches, maybe even three inches, where we'll see between one and two inches. That's the NAM. Let's take a look and see how it back this up so again this is all what's happening you can see it's pretty accurate actually I like the way the NAM looks it's pretty accurate so again it looks like it holds off the heaviest stuff until later and then there's like a line of some really heavy rain that moves through say sometime after I would say around midnight or so uh, and then um, you can see that thing just wrapping itself up and even upstate some snow so this is a very intense storm. Uh, let's look at the H triple R. And similar um, idea from the H triple R again. The, well, it has the heavier rain occurring a little more, a little more around 10 o'clock or so. Um, but generally in the evening is when the worst of it's going to be uh, on uh, for this storm. We'll take a look and see what the rainfall for the H triple R is. Yep, similar idea. So they seem to have the heaviest rain over the Appalachian area and less, uh, or the Poconos, I should say, and less over uh, Long Island. Let's go and look at the RGM. Going through all the models here. So RGM, similar idea. Heaviest rain over, well, this one has a little more heavier rain over New Jersey. Uh, and But we're all going to see over an inch. Let's go back and look at this one. Similar idea, the heaviest rain approaches 9, 10. Yep. Or so. so only time after 8 o'clock, I would say, is when the worst of the rain is going to be. So that seems to be an agreement. All the models seem to be in agreement now. Let's take a look at the HDRPS. That's one we'll look at. see oh yeah heaviest rain over yep right around that time so that seems to be when the heaviest rain will be all right so the next thing we have to look at last thing I'm going to look at is the wind situation because the winds are going to start picking up uh, particularly into tomorrow not so much for today but we're going to look at the wind speeds see temperatures are already it looks like up into around 50 degrees so it's actually warm uh, 
uh, to bring some warm air in. The temperatures will drop uh, as we get into later tonight. And what I want to show is the uh, wind situation for tomorrow, actually. So I'm going to look at the You can see here, even today, we got the wind starting to pick up. These are the wind gusts. So as we get toward 11 o'clock tonight, the winds are going to pick up. Earlier, I don't think it's going to be as bad. No, it won't be as bad. Some along the Jersey Shore, that will be high. But uh, it's tomorrow that we got to be concerned about. Let's look at tomorrow. This is where the winds are going to be high. So we're going tomorrow now. I don't see too, anything too bad right now. These wind gusts. Might actually more be into Saturday. That we have to worry. Because I, I, we saw how tight those isobars were. Yeah, as we go, as we go into later, you can see the wind gusts pick up now. We go into Saturday. And look at Saturday at 5 a.m. Yeah. This is when the winds are going to be bad. We could have wind gusts up to 50 miles an hour, especially in eastern Long Island. So it might be some scattered power outages that we'll have to deal with. So yeah, anyway, I'll I'll update you again on this later. So uh, that is going to wrap up this weather update. So thank you for watching, and I'll have another one for you later on tonight uh, as this uh, heavy rain approaches our area. Uh, just you can see how it's all coming together into this one big massive storm that is now heading up the east coast.